Hello Scorpio viewers. Uh, sorry I've been off for a while, but I'm back now. And as always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. That email is right below this video in the description box. So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. So we've got victim consciousness. How teachable are you? Say what you mean. Courage. Okay, so what I'm getting from this, and take it as it resonates, this could be you or this could be your person, but I'm getting that there might have been some kind of miscommunication here. Someone might have taken something the wrong way. Um, I feel like someone here, again, you or your person, you know, you'll know which is which, but, um, yeah, it looks like with victim consciousness here, I feel like it's kind of like eight of swords energy. I really feel like someone is in this mentality of maybe like a killer be killed mentality or kind of this mentality of, you know, life never works out for me. I, I'm never able to find love. The universe is out to get me. Um, just, just like a, a very kind of victim mentality, kind of just not seeing the bigger picture, seeing that there's more to this. And I feel like they're only seeing, this person's only seeing their perspective. They're only really seeing their side of things. They're not putting themselves in the other person's shoes. And for whoever this is, it's like they kind of need to, to step back and, and, you know, question like how teachable are they? And I think either this is you and you're coming to this realization, like maybe you had miscommunication, maybe you felt rejected by someone and now you're kind of getting out of this eight of swords mentality and you're, you're, you know, you're clearing your vision and you're seeing things more accurately. You're realizing that maybe this person is just going through their own traumas. They're going through their own ordeals and it's really, it's not personal. Uh, you're learning not to take things so personally. If this is your person dealing with this, I feel like they're the one that's coming out of this Eight of Swords energy. I almost want to say this might be mirrored. Like, you might feel like they reject you and vice versa. Like, they feel rejected too. But I really think it's just kind of like ego and traumas and things getting in the way. Where I think sometimes maybe... um maybe one of you like communicates out of anger and one of you is more kind of empathetic and gentle and maybe it's like anger is the way that you express that love it's like maybe it's like passion but this person might be taking it as like anger or like even like hatred towards them for some it's just like a general I mean it's going to be different for everybody but it's just like this general energy of like miscommunication where it's like someone's not actually trying to reject you like you got to sit back and like listen to what they're really saying. I think they're just trying to say like, hey, I, you know, I, 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 and this could be a friend too. This might not necessarily be romantic for all of you, but I think someone is showing you, and this could also be a matter of them showing you they love you in their own love language and you have a different love language. So you're feeling unloved. And so you're both getting frustrated because it's like, maybe they're trying to buy you things and you're trying to be cuddly and affectionate or vice versa. And so you guys are kind of like clashing a little bit there because you're both saying I love you in your own language. And it's like you're wanting them to express it differently. And so they're trying to express it in their own way and they're getting frustrated that you're not receptive and like vice versa. You're probably like they might not be like as affectionate as you. Maybe they take longer to warm up. And so I think some of you are getting triggered as well and you're getting kind of defensive and you're feeling rejected. But it's like so it's like you're both like triggering each other. And feeling rejected by each other and kind of bringing out each other's abandonment issues. But I feel like both of you actually want this love. Like, I feel like you guys are actually on the same page, but you might just be misunderstanding each other out of your own fears and, you know, victim consciousness energy, like the things that you've been through in the past. I feel like maybe one of you had like a, a recent, like traumatic, abusive relationship or like a one-sided kind of narcissistic relationship. And I feel like there might be some cut and clear work that needs to be done there. Like that could still be clouding someone's judgment a little bit and could be making someone feel like it, it's like they're, it's like self-sabotage. It's like someone's looking for things to go wrong or they're just, 
they're seeing the worst in everything and everyone pretty much. Like they're assuming that any any little thing means, you know, that they're being rejected. Like they're they're reading a little bit too much into things and they whoever this person is, you, this person or both of you, it's like there's a need to kind of find this balance to, to you know, how teachable are you to be teachable to find this balance to change your perspective here, to get out of this victim consciousness and learn this person's love language, learn, you know, put yourself in their shoes, change your perspective a little bit, find that middle ground. It doesn't mean that you have to allow them to walk all over you or make excuses for their behavior or anything like that. It's just saying, you know, you, you guys need to kind of learn um, each other's triggers and you guys need to learn how to communicate with each other more effectively. Because right now, you're both in this power struggle and you're both just feeling rejected and feeling alone. And it's really sad because the love is there. Like, the love is actually mutual, you know? And it could be one of those things where this person might have told you. And, like, you know if someone's just bullshitting you and making excuses or if someone's genuinely working on themselves. I feel like this could be a situation where like this person told you like, Hey, I actually do want you. I actually do love you. But like, let me like figure out my living situation or like, let me, you know, work on myself a little bit, but I'll be here. We'll hang out. I just let's, let's ease into this relationship. And like someone might've taken that as rejection and it's like, it's not rejection. It's, it's really, they really want to be in a good space for you, you know? And I feel like there's also, and like I said, if this isn't you, if this is just them, then I feel like they're learning this lesson. They're kind of realizing, like they're looking at this and they're realizing their own patterns and behaviors and they're realizing their role in this relationship and they're realizing, you know, why you might've felt rejected, why you might've reacted the way that you did. But there's really an, a need here to be teachable, to change perspective, to, for both of you to open your minds up and kind of meet in this middle ground. And there's a need, I feel like this, I want to say it's both of you for the majority of you. It's it's like there's a need, need here on, I think, both ends to say what you really mean. Because, like, look at this power struggle energy. Like, look at he's, how he's looking at her and she's, it's almost like she's looking in the mirror back at him. Like, she's trying to, like, she's still trying to figure out what he's doing. Like, they haven't let each other go. But they're both, like, look at their faces. It's like they're both kind of. It's like they're both sulking a little bit. You know, they both seem like they're upset. They both seem like they're in this power struggle. Like they're just, they both want this love, but they just feel like they're going in circles, like either arguments or miscommunication. Someone could be punishing someone else with the silent treatment as well. Um, just not saying anything. So it, it's like this vicious cycle that needs to be put to an end. And yeah, with say what you mean here too, I just feel like, I feel, like, I feel like someone here, it's like they communicate in a way that's that like maybe like a king or queen of swords type energy where someone, the other person feels rejected, but it's just the way that they're communicating. They might be very blunt. And I feel like maybe because of the, all the trauma someone's been through, maybe like when they do have these strong romantic feelings, or even if this is like a friendship, just these strong feelings, like they feel this, this closeness with you, this bond. And I feel like maybe they have a hard time like saying what they mean because they're not used to being close to someone like that. They're not used to that vulnerability. So I know it sounds like counterintuitive, but I feel like for some that when they do feel like these close, like romantic, intimate feelings, they also feel like a lot of anger and pain and confusion just because it's like you're breaking them wide open and they might be vulnerable in ways they haven't been before. So it's like all these emotions come to the surface and they might have this kind of anger and this like resentment towards you because it's like they're feeling things. They wanted to stay in this victim mentality, but I feel like you coming into their life has pushed them out of this victim mentality. It's made them like your honesty, your authenticity has made them have to take a deeper look at themselves and really be honest with themselves about toxic friendships, toxic family, toxic jobs, whatever has been keeping them an eight of swords energy, whatever that's been keeping them stagnant. Like some of the, some of you might've, you know, gave them a, a whole cold dose of truth with, um, about like an ex or a third party. Like you might've told them the truth about that. Like you might've been blunt with them. 
or you might, you know, like, I think they're just having like these realizations, like they were kind of like comfortable just being in this eight of swords energy. Like they were used to that. And so it's like, they are excited and they are happy that they're coming out of that, but they're also like kind of angry and frustrated because they're like, Oh, like, damn, like now I have to make all these life changes. Now I have to cut these friends out. Now I have to really let go of my ex. Finally, now I have to leave this job or now I have to, you know, move to this new location. Now I have to like go down this career path that I was afraid to go down. It's like, it's like all these changes are coming in. And I think some of them wanted to just sabotage. And I feel like they're just broken open now, which to the point where they don't have the, they don't have the safety net anymore. And so it's kind of like a, a picture. I don't know why I'm picturing like a boat, like a fisherman or something, but, um, Cause I pictured like a wild animal, almost like panicking. It's like, they don't have anything to hide behind. Does that make sense? Not that they're like a wild animal, but it's, it's just like, like the safety net is gone because they got called out. Either you call them out or someone else called them out. Or I just feel like in general, it's like you made them vulnerable. So they might be having like this kind of like breakdown where it's like all these emotions are coming up and they can't, there's just, it's like a flood that's just coming in and it's just, it's just too intense for them to be able to fight it. So, so yeah, with this, how teachable card are you? It's like, you guys really need to find a balance and see from each other's perspective so that you stop triggering each other and stop feeling rejected by each other when you guys are actually both on the same page. And it might be one of those power struggle things where it's like, well, if you're not going to message me first, I'm not going to message you first. If you're going to do this, I'm going to do that. You know, it's, it's like kind of just back and forth. And it, it's like, there's a middle ground. Like if you feel like there's a risk of this person taking you for granted, then like, yeah, don't pour your heart out to them right now. Um, but you can still, like, you guys can still find like that middle ground. Like it's not, you know what I mean? Like the game playing is just going in circles. So it's going to be different for all of you, but it, it's kind of like you have to step out of that energy and actually use your intuition because whoever this is has not really been in an intuitive space. They've been in like this kind of, um, like dark mentality of like the world is out to get me. Woo is me. Like everyone just leaves me in the end. And I know it's hard, like when you have abandonment issues and this could be mental illness as well. Um, and I know it's hard. Like I know that it's, it's difficult. It's, it's, it's easy to get triggered and it's easy to go in that downward spiral. And I'm not saying for you to just like ignore what you feel like you need to honor your emotions. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you just need to give yourself that day to stay in bed and be depressed and just rest, just rest. Don't try to force yourself. You know what I mean? Like sometimes your body just needs a break. Your mind just needs a break. You know, the world gets overstimulating, but, um, but it's like, don't feed that energy. You know what I mean? Like let your emotions flow, let it, let it come up naturally. Like let it, let things flow naturally be open, but like, don't grasp on to this mentality. You know, some people are like, well, this is familiar. I don't want to let myself be happy again. So I'm going to hold on to this eight of swords mentality. And I feel like that's going to just create more problems because it's going to create more confusion. So it's like, let yourself feel what you need to feel, feel the depression, the pain, let it out. Let yourself cry when you need to cry. There's no, no good in suppressing it. Like let yourself cry, but don't try to make it worse. You know, don't go in that downward spiral. Just let the feelings that need to come up, come up and let them flow out naturally when they're ready to, instead of, you know, feeding them, if that makes sense, like really find that balance. Um, but yeah, it's like someone needs to say what they mean. Cause it's like someone is communicating in a way that's like, I don't know if it's like passive aggressive, like maybe like some of you are like being passive aggressive and your person's not getting the hint. And so you're getting angry or it's like your, um, it just feels like this energy. I'm getting like an anxiety. Like something's like building up here. Cause like you both aren't saying what you mean. And yeah, I feel like there's one person there. Like, I think it's both of you, honestly. Like, I think you both trigger each other, but I think there's one person specifically that like might communicate in a way that's like passive aggressive or like angry. Or like I said, they might have like this resent, like a little bit of like resentment or anger just because it's like they suppress things for so long and they're like kind of like, like they were comfortable being stagnant and now they're like, damn, like I'm being forced to change. Like they're, it's like their spirit guides are pushing them to change too. And they're like, damn, like I didn't, I didn't want to change. Like I wasn't, you know, like they're kind of like bitter and upset about it. Cause it's like, they wanted to stay in their little comfortable nest that they were in and you push them out of their comfort zone and there's no going back to the nest and they're like damn like 
or it's like, it's like one of those things where it's like, you know, have you ever, I mean, I haven't personally experienced this, but have you ever been mad about someone for telling you something or like showing you something you didn't want to see? Cause I've known people like that and I'm not judging for being like that. I get it. But I've known people that are like, they get triggered and then they get mad. They're like, damn, I didn't want to know that. Like, I didn't want to know that fact about the world. And it's kind of like that energy where they're like, like whatever, whatever they were just shown, like they can't unsee it. They can't go back to like their, their comfort zone. And so there is some anger there. But, um, and some of them, it's like, they just don't know how to express love in the right ways. And so they come off the wrong way. It's like, someone needs to say what they really mean. Someone really needs to sit back and like have the courage here to say exactly like what's to, and, and again, there's a balance. It's like, you know, I think you're afraid of being taken for granted. They're afraid of being taken for granted. So there is a balance, but it's like, if you're like dropping passive aggressive hints or you're like anything like that, it's like, they're not getting it. Or maybe they're doing the same. Maybe they're getting angry and it's, you're just like, like you're not understanding each other. Like there's some kind of, um, miscommunication here. And for some, it's not even anger. It's just, it's just like the silent treatment. It's like they're, they're not being upfront about their emotions. You're both wanting to, to be chased here. Soulmate. Yeah, this is a soulmate. It looks like or a twin flame. Take off. Yeah. Take off your mask. That's another, that goes right in hand in hand. Take off your mask. You have ballet. Ballet might be dance or ballet. Like clubs might be significant for someone here. Um, it could even be, I'm almost drawn to say, cause like, look, we have like ballet and I'm like thinking of like clubs for some reason. And I'm looking at like this mask, like a masquerade or like a ball or something like that. And it's kind of like, I almost feel, and this is just for a couple of you. This isn't for all of you, but if you're the one that's in the feminine energy, I feel like you might be like going out with your friends and like trying to get their attention, like trying to make them jealous or like living your best life. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like you should go out with your friends. You should live your best life. But I'm seeing that like this person like can't read you well. Like this person might just feel like, oh wow, like she, like you're trying to like trigger them and make them jealous. And this person might just be looking at you like, oh wow, like she's really like having fun without me. Like she's really like moved on from me like she really doesn't want me anymore like she's like she's good like you look you 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 might have this is for someone specific okay I'll get to the rest of the reading in a minute but this is for like a few of you specifically but it's like I feel like you try to post pictures of yourself like being super happy with your friends and it might have unfortunately backfired like you were hoping that they would get jealous and that they would be like 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 come chase you or whatnot and instead they're just like oh wow like she's like, they just can't tell what you feel. It's like you have, like, that mask on, and they're just like, I have no idea, like, is she moving on? Does she miss me? Like, would I be interrupting her life to come back in? And it's not saying to, like, to stop living your life or stop having fun, but it's just kind of, like, it's just saying, like, find that middle ground. Like, don't... There's a balance, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to choose between playing games and letting this person take you for granted if they have in the past, like there is there, you know what I mean? Like there is that middle ground. Like you can, you can find subtle ways to like, let this person know that there is still love there. Like if you see them going through something, you can like check on them. You know what I mean? And it's going to be different for all of you. I think that you know what this is already. Inner child have faith. Yeah. It's like, it reminds me, have you guys ever seen that picture? It's, it goes around on like on social media. It's from Burning Man. It's, it's, it's these, um, these adults that are in cages and they're like faced away from each other. But it, like in the cage are these two kids that are like facing each other, like trying to connect, but like they're like in this cage and they can't reach each other. And I got that visual. It's like, have faith. It's like your inner child. It's like, you guys both really want to be vulnerable with each other, but you're both so damaged that you don't completely know how. Yeah, patience is required on both ends. Because I feel I feel like there's a lot of blame here too. I really feel like there's a lot of blame. Um like on both ends. You're like, oh, they do this and this and this, and, and they're they're feeling the same. Like, why is she so why is he or she so passive aggressive? Why do they do why do they do this? Why are they out with their friends all the time? This, this, this. And so it's kind of like you both have like these traumas. You both have 
you know, a lot of heartbreak from your past. So it's going to require patience on both ends. Like you both need to see each other's perspective and avoid temptations because some of you, I'm hearing like freakum dress by Beyonce. Some of you are like, fuck this. I'm going to go cheat. And it's like, don't do that because you're going to regret it. They're going to, I almost feel like they're going to feel it. Like, cause you see like this man, that's like a ghost here. It's like, She's like trying to be seductive and she's got her eyes closed and she doesn't realize like he can see her in spirit. Like he can see what she's like. This person can see whether you're male or female or maybe it's two males or two females. Take it as it resonates. But it's like and maybe it's them, you know, maybe maybe it maybe they're thinking about like third parties, but they're spirit guides and your spirit come in and they're like, nope, don't you do it like you're mine. You know, it's that kind of energy where you guys have such a telepathic connection that it's like I would avoid I would avoid anything too intimate with anyone else because honestly they can feel it like they'll dream about it or they'll 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 feel it somehow is what I'm getting or someone will like tell them about it or something like I don't know I would just be if this is your person I would just be loyal in this situation you know what I mean like even if you're not together like I would still not can complicate things and I know it's hard it's really hard like when you know that someone's your person and you have to be patient with them and you're just like I just want to go out and have fun and just be with this person already like I want to go to concerts and movies and travel and do everything with this person like why is this taking so long and you know your story like if this person treats you like crap like this isn't your person this is someone that like you know loves you like this could be like a very close friend like close romantic relationship where it's like you know that they love you but you know that they're struggling and that they have some healing to do. You know, this isn't somebody that ghosts you or somebody that's not there for you or somebody that like makes you like tells you you're garbage. No, this is not that energy. This is someone who's a good person, but just damaged and, you know, taking a, more time than you would like for them to heal or vice versa. This could be you. Maybe, maybe you're putting someone on hold because you're not quite ready for them. That could be it too procrastination yeah someone's gonna procrastinate I feel if they feel like this cheating kind of energy um unleash your creativity pay attention to signs yeah it's time to get on your psychic path too it's time to get on like a more creative path because someone like I said has been an eight of swords energy and it's like time for both of you to come out of this energy together and like get on this like more like open-minded kind of free-spirited path yeah, discover your life purpose. Look at that. Look at that. For some, it's music. Music, um, there's like, I'm getting like steampunk. Like, I don't know, there's something about like the steampunk. Like maybe some of you like make clothing or you're like artists, like you paint or you um, you like maybe like fashion design or like hair styling or something like that. Like there's some kind of something with like fashion here or some kind of like style. And I'd be saying like, maybe like you're just kind of wearing sweatpants and you're just kind of like depressed around the house and it's like dress up, like go out and have fun. And you can, like, if you feel, like, if this is your story and you're, like, okay, like, going out and, like, just hanging out with my friends, like, maybe it did backfire, it's triggering, just, like, don't post it, you know? Like, if you feel, like, use your intuition, like, if you feel called to post it or not. Um, but, yeah, it's, like, some, time for someone to get back into that creative side. Discover your life purpose. Look at that. It's, like, it's almost like there's, like, this angel or, like, fairy spirit, too, that's helping lead this man this could be like a mother or grandmother figure too on the other side or like an ancestor that's um or even your higher spirit that maybe even like your higher self like intuitively like telepathically leading this person but it, it's like oh I see this what is this one too that's so strange do you see her I don't know what that's about it's like she's He's not noticing her, though. I think he's guided by this one right here, if there was a third party. But anyway, whoever this woman is, it's like she's kind of, like, leading him to, like, pursue his passion, to pursue music, to be his true self again. Like, she's just kind of, you know, see how she's here? She's just very gentle. And don't get caught up on gender. Like I said, this could be this could be a female. This could be two females. This could be two males. Like, just take it as it resonates, you know? Um, but, yeah, it, it's, it's time for both of you to kind of get back on track with your true selves and with your life purpose. And that starts by, um, you know, getting out of the stagnation, getting out of the, the game playing mode, getting out of um, 
It's like just going in circles and eight of swords energy. It's time for both of you to break free of that and uh, discover your life purpose. Like remember who you truly are on a soul level. Unleash your creativity again. Do the things that make you happy again. You know, like... Like for me, okay, so like when I, like everyone gets depressed, like I, or a lot of people do, like even psychics do. A lot of people think that like psychics have it together. Like, no, nah, we, we probably get depressed more than most because we channel so many energies around us that sometimes it's really overwhelming. Um, if we, you know, we like we try to ground, but not, we can't always ground. Like sometimes they're just, the energies are just a lot. Like if we're like, like if I'm in like San Francisco, like I just, I lose my shit. Cause I'm like, there's so many energies around me. It's too much. But, like, I was, like, thinking about it the other day. I was in my room, like, my arts and crafts room, and I was, like, I just noticed how messy it was. And it's, like, when you're depressed, like, you don't notice it. Like, you'll have, like, like, I know you guys probably don't want to get called out by this, but, like, if you've been in that funk where you're just not doing anything, like, like get off the couch and, like, go in your kitchen. Like, look, like, are, are there a bunch of dirty dishes in the sink? Look, like, is your, is your bathroom a mess? Are your floors a mess? Um, is there laundry that needs to be done? Is there, you know what I mean? Like, and you don't notice that when you're depressed, like you just kind of like space out. And then it's like, when you come out of that, you're like, oh my God, like my house is such a mess. Like, like, and that keeps the energy stagnant too. So don't do more than you can do, you know, just do what you can. But it's like, if you can push yourself to do the dishes, it's like, those things will make you feel better. Even though it takes a lot of energy in the moment, it's like, you'll look around you and you feel better about the environment. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, when you're environment is dirty you kind of just stay in that mentality of like oh like my life is shit I'm shit everything's shit you know what I mean it's like so it helps to to really like make your like not just cleaning but also just like decorating your home and making it your sacred space even if you're just renting a room just making that your safe space you know you can grid the room too by getting um like large black tourmaline chunks and putting them on the in the four corners of the room um, and like, you know, putting that intention in too. But anyway, anyway, yeah, it, it's, it's time to discover, it's time to rediscover your life purpose. It's time to, um, for you both to, to be your true selves again and, and find this balance and communication with each other and really meeting halfway and understanding each other's love languages. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, as I said, um, if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box. Right below this video, that email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. I will never solicit you for our reading. So if anyone, if anyone's messaging you or if anyone's, you know, commenting below, um, telling you to add them on WhatsApp or whatever, that is a scam. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll never message you first. Thank you guys for watching.